hello students welcome back to jesse e connect series of lecture so in this particular session i'll be uh, again continuing the orifices and mouthpieces uh, so as we have discussed a uh, previous session uh, that is a uh, uh, definition of orifice then the classification of orifices okay so and the vena contract about the vena contract uh, and what does it mean and where it will be occurring and all we have discussed in the previous session so in this particular session uh, uh, i'll be uh, taking that is a flow through an orifice and here we will be calculating the theoretical velocity for the flow through a tank uh, how the theoretical velocity can be calculated so we'll discussing about that one so here let us consider a tank so let us consider this tank flow through an orifice here uh, consider a tank fitted with a circular here I'll transfer this one uh, consider a tank fitted with a circular orifice means in this particular portion I'll consider okay here uh, circular orifice in one of its sides so here a orifice is been fitted let us assume a orifice is been fitted as shown in the figure let h so this h represents the head of the liquid above the center of the orifice means from the center of the orifice the height of the liquid up to the free surface up to the free surface pre water surface the height is h above the center of the orifice and the liquid flowing through the orifice forms a jet of liquid see the liquid which is flowing through the orifice it is forming a jet like this it is coming out of the orifice with a high velocity jet because of this much of height the pressure is more at the bottom because of that high pressure it is coming with a high velocity and uh, here uh, whose area of cross section is less than that of the orifice means if you take the jet area here which is lesser than the area of the orifice so as I said at this particular region a vena contractor will be uh, forming means the veins are getting uh, uh, get contracting the veins will get contract here and uh, at that particular region the area get minimum and that particular region is called as a vena contractor and that will be forming at a distance of d by 2 from the face of the uh, orifice and at that particular region all the streamlines will be parallel to each other okay so the area of the jet uh, means uh, at uh, that particular that section is cc that is section cc and the area is minimum and that area of jet of fluid goes on decreasing and at the section cc and the area is minimum at that particular section this section is approximately at a distance of half the diameter of the orifice as i said earlier at this section the streamlines are straight and parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of the orifice and this section is called as vena contracta so very very important so many a times in exam uh, uh, they will be asking define vena contracta and uh, just sketch the position of vena contracta in a uh, tank then beyond this section means beyond this uh, vena contracta the jet diverges and is attracted in the downward 
direction by the gravity means after forming a vena contractor the jet will be diverging and it will be attracting towards the gravity like this towards the gravity because of the gravitational force okay then next let us uh, uh, just derive an equation for the theoretical velocity consider the two points point one just consider point one just at the center of the verifies here and let us consider point two see just one point inside the tank and another point just on the uh, jet but it's outside the tank here here they are considering point two and one point is considering here point one is here and second point is here let us assume these are the two points okay and this point from the point one or the from the center the height of the liquid is h so point one is inside the tank and point two is at the vena contract they are considered at the vena contract let the flow is steady means the let assuming the flow is steady means it is not varying with respect to time and at a constant head h the head h is constant it is not a variable it is a constant and with the constant head the water is coming out with uh, a certain velocity and you are assuming the flow is steady means it is not varying and applying Bernoulli's equation at point 1 and 2 so here just you remember one equation that is Bernoulli's equation so detail uh, in detail about this equation we'll discuss later in the dynamics of fluid flow the Bernoulli's equation is the energy equation so we need to calculate what is the energy at section 1 and what is the energy of fluid at section 2 so energies of fluid when you consider the, the energies of fluid will be having three types of energies one is pressure energy second is a kinetic energy and third one is a potential energy the sum of all energies is called as a total energy so what the Bernoulli said whenever the fluid starts flowing from one region to the other region the energy will be remains same for a ideal type of a fluid okay if the fluid is of real type then there will be a decrease in the or there will be a loss in the energies okay so the equation for the Bernoulli is what if you consider that is a pressure energy P1 by gamma I'm applying for section 1 second kinetic energy V1 square by 2g and third is datum energy that is potential energy similarly at section 2 if you are applying that is P2 by gamma plus V2 square by 2g and plus Z2 is the datum energy as I said the energy we are calculating at section 1 as well as at section 2 at 2 point the energies we are calculating and that energy will be uh, that energy consists of three forms of energy the sum of three energy that is a pressure energy kinetic energy and potential energy that is datum energy and second again at this point two again the same energy is pressure kinetic and datum energy so if you look at this point so does does it have any uh, pressure energy here if you look at this point uh, again just a minute okay so again there's this one I have written section 1 and section 2 this is a section 1 and this is a section 2 then but if you take this point and this point if you consider point 1 and point 2 both are at same position means if I take this as a reference bottom of the tank as a reference point this will be at a height of Z1 and again from here this point if you take this is also at a height of Z2 because this is the point 2 I am calling it as a Z2 Z1 equal to Z2 because both are at a same height 
if you substitute in the above equation that z1 get cancels then the remain the equation resulting equation will be this one now as we know from the uh, hydrostatic law p equal to rho g h pressure equation we are know then h equal to what p by rho into g same here now p1 by rho into g is nothing but what h means at this particular point the pressure head if you want to calculate that will be p1 by rho into g that will be h then the pressure head at section 2 if you consider there won't be any liquid above hence the pressure head here is zero means the only the atmospheric pressure is present that is considered to be a zero almost but at this particular point 1 if you consider the pressure head it will be p1 by rho into g so now let us uh, substitute uh, here just a minute let us uh, let us substitute the equation here and uh, this is atmospheric pressure and v1 next is v1 is very small in comparison to v2 means if you consider the velocity at this point 1 at this point 1 since the tank is very large depth is very large there won't be any moment of particle here even though there is a moment of particle but it is a com very less moment or you can call it is a very slow moment almost the velocity will be nil there the velocity is nil there and v1 is very small can comparison to it means if you consider the velocity of fluid particle here so here the velocity of fluid particle is very high they are moving with very fast so when you compare point 1 with respect to point 2 the velocity at 1 will be very slow and as the area of tank is very large as compared to the area of the jet if you consider the area of jet and area of the tank the area of tank is very large and the moment of particle at one will be very slow or almost negligible hence the velocity considered at that point is zero applicable hence if you substitute here the p1 by rho into g is what h and velocity here will be what zero again the pressure here is a zero and the velocity s yes, where there is a velocity hence we have written as a velocity head v2 square by 2g if you calculate velocity at 2 it finally it will be v2 is equal to what rho into g finally v2 v finally we get this one v2 equal to root of 2gh this is a theoretical velocity or actual velocity will be less than this will means this equation whatever we have derived this gives you only theoretical velocity from the uh, theory this is the from the equation but actual velocity will be less than the theoretical velocity just for actual velocity what we have to write v2 will be cd sorry cv that is coefficient of velocity to be taken actually will be v2 will be we take cv into root of 2gh root of 2gh v2 will be cv just a minute so just you have to add here cv root of 2gh like this
and this is the theoretical velocity we get okay i hope you understood this with the derivation just remember this is theoretical velocity v t is the root of 2 g h okay next so next uh, we'll discuss about hydraulic coefficients okay and we'll discuss these uh, in the next session i hope you understood this one that is a uh, uh, flow through an orifice so very very important just uh, go through this equation this is uh, how we get the theoretical velocity interval